The JHS Overdrive preamp is a replica of the old grey spec DOD 250 preamp overdrive. Can you use this to get classic Ingve Malmsteen tone? Does it sound as good as I expect it to? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to another video with me, Elmo J. Karjalainen, and it's good to have you along. You can call me this guy if my name is tricky to pronounce. Today we're taking a look at the Overdrive preamp by JHS Pedals. Now this is a replica of the old grey spec DOD 250 Overdrive preamp. That's an elusive pedal, I mean you have to pay a lot of money for that. This has uh, two controls, level and gain, and an up-down switch here. Let's see what the Toman website says about it. The JHS is a faithful replication of the DoD Overdrive Preamp 250 version 1. It's a powerful tone shaping tool, can be used as a solo boost, always on preamp, transparent overdrive or distortion, two switchable clipping arrangements, down for a more sa distorted, saturated sound, up for a more open, louder and clearer sound. True bypass, level gain, and so on. 9 to 18 volt DC. So, yeah, really, really basic. Now, I don't have a DOD here. I have some other stuff that I'm going to compare this to. I'm going to start by comparing it to the Ingvar Malmsteen Overdrive by Fender, which isn't in production anymore. And then I'm going to try it in comparison to a Mosky D250X, which is also supposedly a uh, replication of the DOD. And we'll see how this sounds, and I have pretty high hopes for this because I've really liked JHS pedals. The stuff that I've tried by them has always been good, even when it's not been entirely my cup of tea. So let's get this hooked up and start playing. Oh, by the way, it costs 219 euros. Oh, and before I get going, this video is sponsored by the good people over on Patreon who support me in this channel because I buy the gear that I review so you get an honest review and that way I take a financial hit every time I make a review. <laughs> but a huge thank you to everyone who supports me there. If you want to check that out, there's a link in the description. You can check it out for free. You get access to my music, my lessons and a bunch of exclusives. I hope to see you there. On with the video. Okay, so what I'm using for this video is not my custom mahogany strat. It's my old Fender Ingve Malmsteen Stratocaster with the DiMarzio pickups, not the Seymour Duncans. So we're gonna go for real classic Ingve tones here. I have my Marshall 50 watt Plexi. Ingve used 50 watts for a long time. Nowadays he's using 100 watt uh, Marshalls. I have a separate camera filming the JHS and the pedal that I'm comparing it to. I have no noise gate, so this will get a bit noisy, but that will be made worse by compression, so I have a compression on the vocal microphone. If you think it's terribly noisy, well it is, because these things are coupled with the plexi, but it's not as bad as it seems. And it's all manageable with the noise gate. I think it's uh, a good thing to hear the noise because that can give you some kind, and when you're comparing stuff, because that can give some kind of point of reference as well. So let's turn on the JHS, uh, both gain and level halfway. The amp's turned off. The clipping selector is in the down position, so it should be more uh, saturated. So, not really any noise. <laughs> Compared to with it off. See what the clipping switch does. There's the 
there's a subtle difference. It's not big. Uh, let's max level and drop gain and see what it does as a clean boost. I just so actually sorry. Let's try the Fender Ingve Mountain Overdrive in comparison. The real point of comparison for me would be just everything on full because that's the way Ingve uses these and that's the way I would use one of these. <laughs> Okay, so at least uh, halfway the Ingve overdrive is hotter and it's also a bit brighter. So, yeah, let's add level on the JHS, gain all the way down and see what it does. Let's add, uh, let's add gain. Let's put gain back halfway. Now we're getting a bit of hiss. Switch. I think I slightly prefer it in the up position. I'm not entirely sure. Let's add a bit more gain, but I'll give you a kind of verdict so far. I think it sounds great. Not the way I would use it though, but I th think it sounds brilliant. I could see myself using this in a lot of different applications, at least so far.
Okay, let's see what the let's compare it to the Ingve. Turn the Ingve Malmsteen Overdrive on full. Okay, so the hiss is definitely different. Okay, let me swap out the Ingve Malmsteen Overdrive because that's not really, that's not in production anymore. So in a way, that's not an interesting comparison. It was just kind of out of curios curiosity for me. Uh, what I have read about Ingve's uh, rig over the years is that uh, even when he had the old DOD 250, he did boost it with something else, and I'm going to try that uh, a bit later on because it is a bit less gain than maybe I would want. At least with these pickups, at least with this setup, I would just want a tiny bit more, just a tiny bit more. So I'm going to try it with a booster, some kind of boost, let's see, some kind of clean boost. But let's switch out the Fender for the Mosky D250X, which costs 350 and a Snickers. Okay, so now I have the Mosky set up as well. I've bought two of these Moskies. This one is broken, so the little switch which switches from D to M doesn't work. And the other one never arrived. <laughs> but that's not Mosky's fault. Uh, but a word of caution when buying Mosky products, I've bought a few and uh, roughly half have been broken. Or just under half. So there is a bit of risk involved. But they cost Peanuts, absolutely nothing. So compared to the JHS, let's see how it sounds. <laughs> Okay, I really like the JHS. I want to try it with uh, a clean boost still. Okay, so now I have an LPB1 linear line booster. This is the clean sound. Not clean, add a bit of boost.
Okay, what's the verdict? It cleans up very nicely as well. Well, I've never tried one of those grey spec things, so what can I say? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I really like the sound of it. I really do. But I think I just, just slightly prefer the Fender Ingve Malmsteen Overdrive. Just slightly. But that's, I've gotten used to that type of thing. It's a bit different from this. Would I gig happily the rest of my life with this? Yes, I probably would. Um, it sounds great. It's a bit cleaner than the Fender. It's a bit more kind of open, it seems. The Fender seems a bit tighter. But this is just... And it works really nicely as a clean boost and stuff in between as well. But this is just... <laughs> Very nice sounding pedal. Uh, I definitely can recommend it. It's, it sounds really nice. And I bought it so I can say what I want. <laughs> if you want to watch more of my gear videos, there's a playlist here. If you want to check out some of my music, there's another playlist here. I hope you check one of those out. Click like if you liked the video. I hope you did. Comment, let me know what you thought. Subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell notification thing. And join me on Patreon. You get access to all of my music lessons and a bunch of exclusives. There's a link in the description to that. You can check it out even for free. Uh, I hope to see you in another one. And I hope you have a very nice day. Take care. Bye.